when we get these big group of zombies, I'm just killing them because it doesn't take that much more time. We get the XP, the skill, and, uh, you know, we have to eliminate them, so that's the deal. And they've been eliminated. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die. I'm the Ravenhurst Mod. I am an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to go hit some more POIs because, ladies and gentlemen, I am having a really hard time with jars. I cannot make jars, and so I have to loot them, and you know how this game works. You you know, the jars are used for all kinds of stuff, and unfortunately, some of the things that you use them for consume them, which has never made any sense to me, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that's the way it works. So, um, yeah. Uh, and, and so because of that, and also because of a comment that, uh, one of you guys left me, uh, which I really appreciate, uh, you said in the comments that you basically fast track intellect. And I, I can see why, th why that is. Um, because if we look at intellect, um, we need to get to, uh, advanced engineering, I think. To do the the thing that I, I need to get something in intellect so that I can make the the blacksmiths for yeah it's this one here craft the blacksmith forge and an auto workbench um, and we need advanced engineer uh, which is level five which requires um, intellect to level ten so we need to get it to, to nine and then of course we can use our nerdy glasses to get it the rest of the way so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do the same thing I'm gonna we're gonna fast track intellect. Um, I have one point available and probably not put points into anything else until we get this maxed out uh, because, you know, it, it not being able to make jars is actually a huge issue <laughs> in this game. It's a bigger deal than I realized because it's never really a problem in vanilla or even in the other mods. But in Ravenhurst, yeah. So, <coughs> excuse me. That is what we're going to do in terms of points. Now, if you look at my XP bar, you'll see that it shows red. And I was killed last night. Um, I, I had the classic got stuck on the damn ladder um, with nasties chasing me. I was coming back from trying to get some water because I was, you know, needed water. And uh, I got stuck trying to get up on the ladder, which happens sometimes in this game, and they tag me. But So, yeah, there we go. We died. Sucks. Uh, how many deaths do we have, by the way? We have 10 deaths now. Let's hope that that's the last time... That ever happens to us. So let's see here. I'm waiting for, uh, you know, food continues to be a pain in the ass. Uh, so I just went and did a whole bunch of fishing right before I started the camera here. So now I've got another batch of fish uh, for food. And uh, what else was I going to say? Oh, the garden. The garden is growing again. And, it, you know, the plants are growing, but the size of it is also growing too each time I plant it, of course. And what I'm doing is I'm making a bunch of dirt blocks because I just got uh, clay up the wazoo, you know. Um, in fact, let's just grab even some more. Grab a whole row uh, because I have a plan for the garden. And I'm not going to tell you what that plan is right now, but I will show it to you later uh, after I make sure that it's going to work. Okay, so some of you may... Uh, be able to guess what that plan is, but anyway, let's go ahead and kill some Zeeks. So the katana and the sledgehammer combination is working out really well for me. I just get bleeds going on them and then, you know, finish them off with the sledge. And I'm getting probably about 30% of the time I'm getting uh, head, you know, head squashes. So and then, you know, if I completely run out of stamina, I'm using the shotgun because we got to get that leveled up too. And so at this point, you know, I, I'm just, when we get these big group of zombies, I'm just killing them because it doesn't take that much more time. We get the XP, the skill, and, uh, you know, we have to eliminate them. So that's the deal. And they've been eliminated. Okay. So let's, uh, let, let me give you just a quick update on where we are with the base. I have spent more time off camera, you know, continuing to dig it out. We're getting close to bedrock and, uh, you know, it's day 52. So I, I wanted to take a day off from it, so to speak. Uh, but, uh, here, let's look at it from up here. We got sleepies. Oh man, I got it. I keep forgetting to put the land claim block in here, but 
it, it's like way, way down there now. Um, and I'm eventually going to dig out even, even all of it. But, um, my plan is to, you know, to have it all the way to bedrock and have a concrete lined ramp, uh, by the time, you know, by Horde 56. Uh, so that's what we're working on. But, uh, I wanted to take, like I said, a day off, go do some looting and in hopes that we can find some, some more jars, uh, and you know, good loot and all that sort of thing too. Okay. So let's deal with her. And, oh, I got a couple things to sell to the trader too. Let's do that now. Now I've been debating something. Um, oh my gosh, it's noon already. Crap. The, uh, trader has a motorcycle chassis for, I think it's like 12,000. And I can make, well, I can make both of them skill wise, but I'm, I'm missing a couple pieces that I need the crowbar for the chassis, but I can make the handlebars. So I've been contemplating if I should just uh, motorcycle handlebars. See, I, all this stuff's easy to obtain. Oh, I went on a, a steel binge too, and I got like 40 pieces of steel by just wrenching uh, uh, street lamps. Uh, so I have 35 left and I made some advanced repair kits, uh, a couple, because I had to repair my katana. Um, and yeah, so I did that too. But anyway, what were we talking about? Oh yeah. So I can make the motorcycle handlebars and if I can buy the, um, the chassis, you know, then we could get into a motorcycle and I just have to raise a hundred, you know, 12,000 coin, which wouldn't be that hard to do. Cause see, it's this radi car radiator flat and car seat upright, um, that I can't get without a crowbar. <laughs> So, you know, the thing is, is I'll probably spend 120,000 coin, or not 120, 12,000 coin on it. And then right after that, we'll find a crowbar. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm still thinking about that. Uh, I do have to make that decision, though, before Horde, because, you know, then the, the trader's inventory will reset. So I'm, I'm thinking about it. Let's, uh, well, let's do this. Let's grab everything that's in here and we'll just sell this and we'll see where we're at with our money. And then, of course, we're going to get some more money from doing a trader quest too. So let's go over there and do that. I need to look and see if I'm not sure. Oh yeah, I do have a trader quest. Clear area and retrieve supplies. So let's uh, do this selling first. Had to go on another gas run too. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's see your inventory. Um, you guys told me in the comments that if you press shift on a stack, it'll sell the whole stack. Super useful. You would think as long as I've been playing this game that I would have known that, but I did not. I might have known it at one point in time and forgot it. Not really sure, but anyway, useful, useful information. Okay, we're selling that. Uh, I've got like two steel shovels that I found. Oh, he doesn't want that one. Okay. Um, and we don't need the mini, mini bike handlebars. Okay, so that gets us up to 23, but I also have 6,000 or something in here. Yeah, okay, so that gets us up to 8,000 coin right there. So, I mean, we could do it. We could definitely do it. We would just have to run some POIs and do some trader quests and things like that. Now, I want to make sure that the trader... Are you the one that I'm doing this job for? Yes, I am. Okay, or yes, you are, rather. Um, okay. So let's see, we need to go, uh, oh, this one's going to be in the desert, isn't it? It's a tier two fetch and clear. Uh, I wonder, you know what, let's cancel that and let's see if we can get a, a closer job from him. Uh, let's see, let's go here and we want to remove the quest. Okay. Okay, we want something close by. Um, so the fetch, that fetches the, 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 oh no, we want tier two though. Okay, so tier two, fetch and clear. That one's close. In fact, that is the only one that's close that's a tier two, fetch and clear. God bless and we've already done the Old West one once, but that's okay. I'm more interested in the XP, the loot, the money, that sort of thing, and the jars. <laughs> so this one's in our town. We'll do that one first. I've been trying to hold off on the videos until we get caught up, but 
you know, I mean, I, and I, I'm playing the game off camera, doing the off camera stuff, but I can only really go so far before I need, I need to do another episode or I get, you know, too far ahead of you guys, get too far out of context, that sort of thing. Um, and by the way, I did do a little bit of looting when I was doing my steel hunt and got a few things from the bus garage and I'll show you that footage uh, right now. Okay, let's do this fetch and clear. Um, I don't know, can we find jars and dumpsters? Don't think so. Uh, maybe we can, I don't know. Oh, he's right there. Okay, let's head on in here. I'm just gonna sort of kind of speed run this just because we've already done it a couple times now.
Okay, we have finished the, the quest. Let's get our luckies on and uh, see what we got in here. And we'll go turn this in and we'll do another one. $100 make you hotter. Grab these. Nothing behind there. Just eat those right now. No safes. Okay, give us something good. Okay, we'll take that. Hopefully we get some some good food in here. I'll take a few cans of sham. That would be good. Come on, game. And now for the fat loots. Okay, we got some steel, some shotgun shells, uh, the usual run-of-the-mill stuff. Okay, I'll see you back at the trader. Okay, what you got for us, buddy? It must be my lucky day. Uh, I think Thank you. we'll take... Here you go. Well, let's see. This is worth three fifty nine. dollars yeah, um, That's only 32 rounds. Yeah, I think I'm going to take this and just sell it back to him. Okay, so let's uh, do some selling. Okay, so that gets us up to 10,905, and the motorcycle chassis is 12,000, so probably one more quest will do it. Um, so, yeah, let's see what he's got. Hopefully he's got something in town that's a tier two. Um, we got a buried supplies, and the rest of them are out of town. Well, um, yeah, let's, let's just do the buried supplies, I guess, and then we'll see where that puts us when we're done. Huh, we found it. Okay. I wouldn't have minded doing a little more digging just to get more worms, but that's okay. This just lets us move along quicker. So I just need to make sure I got a really fast escape route because Buried Supply Quest, if you guys didn't know this, in Ravenhurst sends a feral zombies after you. So you got a skiddaddle. We found that out kind of the hard way. Okay, so I can get out of here, get right to the bike. Let's get rid of that, just so it's not in the way. Okay, here we go. Automatic rifle stock. Oh, weighted head mod's nice. Okay, let's go. Oh, shit, screamer. All right, let's see what we get. Well earned, traveler. Um, that's 38, that's 365. I wouldn't mind having that, but yeah, we're, we need, we need the money, so. All right, let's go to, uh, may I see your inventory, let's sell this. Want some clay? Yeah, he bought a little clay off of us. All right, that brings us up to, oh man, we're just, <laughs> we're just short. That's okay, I mean, we have until the hoard, the actual, uh, day before hoard. Uh, 55 to do this so we don't have to do it like right this second uh, but that gets us really close okay I think I'm gonna keep all the other parts so let's do this let's go um, take a look at his jobs again and wait oh, what did I do apologies check back again and I may have trade what you're looking for no Come back tomorrow, not trade talk new goods daily there we go um all right so let's see he's got tier twos to the northeast, which would be towards the desert. He's got one to the southwest, which is going to be towards our town with the gas. Um, yeah, let's do the south. Let's do the southwest one. Oh, nice. Okay, so here's the deal. The, the McDowell's, which is basically a McDonald's, that place had a ton of traffic lights. So... By taking this quest, we're going to reset it, and I'll be able to wrench them for more steel. So that worked out really good, actually. Quite good. Oh, you know what? i got a whole bunch of gunpowder I need to pull out of the chem bench. Let's do that really quick, and then um, I will meet you over at the McDonald's there, and we will... Look at that, man. A full stack, and then quite a bit more of gunpowder. That's a beautiful thing. Anyway, I'll meet you guys uh, over... 
at the McDowell's, which is going to be uh, right here. And we'll get, you know, well, I don't know. I don't know if the gas will re have reset because I was just there. But if it has, oh, shit. If it has, we got a bear horde. Are those normal bears or zombo? I think those are zombo bears because they have, yeah, they got their ribs showing. Too bad they weren't normal bears. I'd be tempted to kill them just to, you know, just for the meat and stuff. Um, I'd rather they don't tear the shit out of our place. Well, here. Do I need, even need to stop off at home? Oh, it's getting late, too. Damn it. It is getting late. Yeah, I think it, darn it, it's too late for us to go. I mean, we could get there, but I don't think we could finish it in time. I'm trying to think. And I, I'd want to stay there and get the steel, too. So, yeah, we might have to wait on that one. We might have to wait on that one. Okay, well, um, let's see. Where are we at, then? Just trying to think. What else we could do? Let's go. Let's go take a look and see if the garden is actually ready to go. Some of it is is ripened, but not a, not all of it. At least not the last time I checked. Okay, that stuff's ready. What about the corn? The coffee's ready. Looks like the corn is ready. This was the last stuff I planted over here, so. It's ready. Okay, good, good. All right, so let, I'll tell you what we're going to do then. Um, I need to go back to the base and get that dirt, and I'll show you what my plan is for the garden. Those bears are right where I need to be, and they're tearing up my place too. We need to, yeah, we need to pull them away. I'd like to get the attention of the other one, too. These little armored dogs are a real pain in the butt. They're really tough. But if we can kill them... We'll get some meat. See how tough he is? Dang. I don't know if that was worth it. We wasted a bunch of 762s. Alright, well, let's get the get the meat. Yeah, our base is in rough shape. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of repairing, which we can do. Okay, so I want to grab um, the hoe, so let's get that. And I've got a couple other things to put away, but I'm just going to throw them in here for right now because I don't want to mess with it right now. Okay, I'm going to set this up on this pond because it's not quite as deep as the other one. Uh, but basically what we're going to do is we're going to get our dirt on our toolbar here. And let's go... We'll go north. Wait, do I want to go north or east? Yeah, I think I think we'll go north. We'll go north. Okay, so starting right about here, let's make sure we're pointing north. Right about here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna set ourselves up some rows and the reason I'm doing this is because you know then they'll be nice and straight it's a bit of a pain in the butt to follow the contour of the shoreline otherwise okay so it gets kind of deep right there let's just start with that and then we'll see where we where we're at and we can do a double we can do at least a double row what if you guys were telling me that the water will extend four blocks out, but I don't know, is that like two on each side or is it actually, in other words, could I make, oh, I could make this four wide. Yeah, I could because 
It'll be two blocks in from this side and two blocks in from that side, I think. <clears throat> right? Pretty sure, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, this we can make this four blocks wide. Ho hopefully I'm right about that. If I'm not, well, we'll, we'll know next time, right? Whoops. And I, you know, another reason why I'm doing this, of course, is then I don't have to mess with replenishing the water. Like if I built the garden on the rooftop kind of thing, then I got to mess with replenishing the water and all that. And this is just going to be the easier way to handle it. Okay, let's get rid of this. So I think if if I'm correct about this, I think what'll have to happen now is that um, we can can we put one? No, it's not going to work there. Okay, um, we're going to need to leave a row of water in the middle, like so. Hopefully that's enough. I would think so, and then go you know another four blocks. There, you can you can be fertilizer for us, man. Okay, so now that you get the the basic idea, um, what I'm going to do is go harvest. Oops, our crops um, around the lake, and then replant them over on this side, and hopefully that'll work. Uh, we got to hoe it too. So, um, let's do this. We're running out of daylight here. Uh, but let's let's go ahead and hoe it. Man, I wish it would turn color because you can't tell. I'm sure there's a reason for that, but I'm not sure what it is. But the game won't let you plant it if it's not tilled, so, you know, at least there's that. But it would still be nice if we could see it. It's probably some kind of game limitation with the you know, changes to seven days. Here, I'll finish doing that off camera. What I want to do, though, is I want to go all the way across and make sure that it's going to let me plant all the way across because I think it won't let me plant if the water can't reach it. Okay, let's go grab some produce. So we're going to get, um, let's get some corn. We'll start with the most important stuff, which is corn, potatoes, and carrots. Because carrots, um, here's potatoes. Carrots and potatoes let me make bug kebabs and I've got over a full stack of bugs and I've been hanging on to them because if I do bug in a jar I lose the jar and then in and the bug kebabs provide more nutrition anyway okay so we got the carrots potatoes uh, or no we got the corn and potatoes I think the carrots are over this way I'll get the rest of this off camera of course but we're we're getting to the point where you know, we're going to be able to start eating, <coughs> excuse me, eating the produce. Up until now, I've mostly converted it all back into seeds. But I'll need to kind of get a feel for, you know, how much is enough uh, in terms of, you know, the size of the garden. So I'm going to kind of guess, like, maybe we'll do something like 20 plants of each. And then if that's, you know, if that's not enough, then I just extend it later okay so let's grab um let's grab the carrot seed here we'll put it, some carrots there we'll put um let's put the corn on this side okay see it's not letting me plant that is that just because i didn't till it yep that's exactly what it was okay um we'll plant the potatoes here and, oh, 
I guess that's all we grabbed. What? Okay, what would be the next most yeah important thing? So see what I'm saying is it won't let me plant it here because th there isn't water access. But the water will definitely. I haven't. I just haven't tilled that. But the water will reach um at least two blocks in for sure. Um, so we're good to go there. <clears throat> All right, let's see. What would be the next most important crop? Wheat would be handy because we need that to make cornbread, amongst other things. Um, with the strawberries, I can make a fruit salad. But coffee, of course, would be important. I mean, in the long run, it's not going to matter because we're going to have all of it, right? But uh, how, what do we want to do? Yeah, let's do the strawberries. Let's do the strawberries, because, you know, some apocalyptic fruit salad sounds absolutely delicious. I have a few strawberries back at the base, but did that give me some seeds? Yeah, it gave me five seeds. Nice. Okay. All right. Is he the only white around, or the only one around? I wonder if he's feral. Okay, are we fully loaded here? There we go. This we got a hit off on him. Come at me, brah. Hopefully you're the only one coming at me, brah. Okay, so I'm going to plant strawberries here so we have one row of carrots one row of strawberries one a potato and one of corn uh going out. okay now we have multiple zombos all right you guys well um this is pretty damn risky we better we better not i'm not gonna do this at night <laughs> i'm not gonna do this at night well i might try and get away with harvesting the other garden but planting and tilling it's it's a little bit much for me to have to manage and uh, with zombos coming in so i think what i'm going to do is yeah i'm just going to pick all of this and then um when the morning comes i'll i'll finish planting it you know planting the new garden getting that all set up and then you know anything i have over 20 plants i'm going to start keeping and eating and then if it turns out you know if i determine later on that i still need a little bit more of one particular type of ingredient then we'll just you know add more to it as we go but anyways, I'm going to let you guys go here. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.